Hi, my name is Joshua Adegun. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. To this agenda, I will be teaching you how to add a shared mailbox to your account in Outlook. So first, um, what we need to do, I, I will share my screen first, and then I will show you how to do this. So before you can add a shared mailbox to an account, um, it means the, the account you want to add a shared mailbox to must have access, either um, a full right access to um, the shared mailbox. So I'll go to, um, I'll come here, I'll go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I'll do for test. Let's see um, here. Uh, I'll click on test and then um, it shows um, read and manage permissions under the manage mailbox permissions and then we have the senders permissions, send on behalf permissions, right? So I can um, quickly do this here and then add permission. I search for my name here and then I select this. So this takes um, a little while to propagate. Yeah, and then I can also do this from the SGN Admin Center. I select test two, come over here to mailbox delegation, read and manage that's full access. Click on edit here, click on add, and then I search for Joshua. I select this, I click on um, confirm, right? And then let's wait. This. So this has been done. I can also do this via PowerShell. Come here. I use the CMD let add mailbox permission, identity support, access to write inheritance type or auto mapping. So this auto mapping automatically adds the, the, the shared mailbox to this account, which I'll, I'll also show you um, from the outlook on the web and then outlook desktop client. So let's run this. And then let's see here. Okay, so this should have been added now. So um, I'll go back here. Let me confirm with um, from exchange. Let's see if 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 uh, this no, so I have here. Yeah, can you see? Just for now, I did for support via PowerShell. So, how can I add a shared mailbox to Outlook? I'll start with Outlook on the web. I come here and then I'm signing to my account, the account that has access to the shared mailboxes, right? So, I right click on folders here. I click on add shared folder or mailbox and then I type, let's say, test. Test. At, um, let me see, Z2NRN. Test at Z2NRN. Not on my Yes, I select this and then I click on add. So let's see what happens. Uh, let me try to collapse this. Yeah, so it's been had added here. I click on this, this, so now I can see my shared mailbox here, right? Because this, my account has access to the shared mailbox, right? Um, so let me do something Z to NRN, okay? So the next step is, um, I've shown you how to add um, the shared mailbox we have PowerShell, right? And I've also shown you how to add the shared mailbox to your account via Outlook on the web. So let's do Outlook desktop client. So I open my Outlook, I go to File, I go to Account Settings, I go to Account Settings here, and then this is the account that has access to the shared mailbox, right? I select it and then click on Change. I come here to More Settings, I go to the Advanced tab, I click on Add, and then here I put in uh, test two at 
Z to NRN but on Microsoft dot com. So let's see. Click on OK. It should be added to the image for now. Okay, yeah, it's been added. I click on apply. I click on OK. Let's see. So I click on see can you see here on the left hand side it's been added here and then I can click on um, next if I like I can click on cancel so we just click on next done and then um, I come back here I click on close and then well, uh, I can see um, this so um, normally when you add um, a shared mailbox to outlook on the web it should automatically sync down to um, the text of clients. However, sometimes it doesn't do that. So um, this is what I'm going to do to ensure that um, the other ones that have been added shows up here. So I come here to file. I come here to on settings again. I will click on this. I uncheck this. I click on next. I click on OK. I close this. Um, I did that so that I can connect directly to Exchange Online. So I would do this and then exit. Yeah, and I'll type, I'll click on the start button again, type Outlook, and it asks me to choose the profile I want. I select like this and click on OK. So um, this should come up now, and I should see all the shared mailboxes added to my email account that has access to the shared mailboxes. So it's kind of taking a while. Please bear with me, it should come up any minute from now. Okay, it's still processing over here. It's processing over here. So it refreshes where well, that is coming up. Let's see. With us here. Okay, it's your processing. It's gonna take a while. Yes. Yeah, so it's up now. So let me collapse this. This. So can you see? I have support. I have test one. I have test two. So it's showing twice here, right? It's not supposed to show, but yes, so you can see that um, the shared mailboxes have been added or auto mapped to my Outlook, both on the web and then on the Outlook desktop client. We we used three different methods, adding the shared mailbox after permission have been given to the account via Outlook on the web, via um, Outlook desktop client and via PowerShell. So thank you very much for listening to me and watching my video. Um, cheers and have a good day. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and turn on the, the notification button so that you can be um, updated on your new and upcoming videos. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.